What's up guys? Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I got my boy, Champion Black. And we are about to get into a very, very, somewhat PG-13 topic, okay? Somewhat. Somewhat. Very little. So, hopefully YouTube don't give me any problems with this Please, topic. <laughs> All right guys, listen, question of the day. What if your significant other and you are not sexually compatible? Or should I say intimately compatible? Me first? You <laughs> You're the guest of okay. my show. What if you and your significant other are not sexually compatible? How can you be significant others if you're <laughs> not sexually compatible? Listen, I will say this, right? And I'm I'm going way off the deep end, to the extreme. If we were to lock in together and God forbid something happened to you, like I've seen situations like this where a guy will lock in with the girl, but he gets an injury. Let's say he gets shot, he gets a sports injury or anything mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, I see where you're going with that. And he can't, you know, fluctuate how he used to fluctuate. Then it's like, well, damn, I don't think you should leave that person high and dry mm -hmm. because, you know, of uh, unforeseen circumstance. But. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't the situation. Yeah, man. if that's not the situation, then that's tough. Yeah, so, um, not to say that sex is the main ingredient of a good relationship, but damn it, it's important. It's like important. it's 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 yeah yeah. I feel like you should be somewhat compatible. Now I will say this: mm -hmm. you can't teach each other things. Yeah, you can because. And that's I where had, compromise comes in. At. Right, right, right. That's where compromise comes in because you know I'm a fast car. But Jackie may be just, you know, a cruiser. Like, we have to meet in the middle sometimes. No, and that's I think okay. Jackie's more like a Jeep or... Um... She said it, not me. She said it. I'm just saying, I'm no freaking cruiser. I don't even know what a cruiser looks like. Anyways. <laughs> All right, that's neither <laughs> here or there. Okay, that's so here. <laughs> for me, honestly, like, okay, story time, okay? <laughs> So, disclaimer, <laughs> <laughs> the views that Jackie, um, <laughs> they are hers. You know what? Okay, I'm not going to give a story. Okay. I'm just going to explain a situation. Cool. And I don't know why I'm playing my hair because I'm nervous about hitting this topic. <laughs> All right, so let's just say the um, peach, wait, what are you, what's the symbol for the, the vagina? Vagina? No, like the emoji. Is it a... I guess, yeah. What, Let's whatever. just go say, for story's sake, Let's the vagina say, is the peach, the eggplant is the, the penis. Okay. okay. Let's say the peach, okay, and the eggplant, okay. The peach is really juicy and like Sometimes. thick. Sometimes. But we, we're, this is my example. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay? Not, I'm not talking about myself. Well, whatever. The point what? is, Let's say the peach is really like thick and juicy, and then the eggplant is more dried up, you know, thin, you know, maybe even short. So those two components would not be compatible because this um, peach that has a hole in the middle is about this big and we then said you have PG a right? eggplant <laughs> that's about this thin and, and about this short trying to go inside the peach and then this they get the picture they get the picture <laughs> you two <laughs> oh, oh i haven't said anything bad the point that i'm making is that there's not going to be any friction you know against those walls you know so um, I guess a compromise would be, I'm pretty sure there are some type of toys that could be in the mix to make it fulfill that hole. But, or maybe, hopefully your partner doesn't need to feel the stimulation against the walls. Maybe they just need, you know. Please stop uh, playing with your hair. Please I'm stop nervous about this topic. Please, please. Because <laughs> it keeps knocking you. No, listen. Um, Point blank period. 
Not saying it can't work. Right. That's not what we're saying. What we are saying, in order for it to last, in order mm -hmm. for it to be fruitful, in order for it to be fun, right? we got to have some type of compatibility, especially when it comes to the bedroom. Not especially, preferably when it yeah. comes to the bedroom. We're because preferably. Yeah, like I honestly, I, I totally agree with you. Like, she is so nervous. Cause I'm trying to she figure out. She is so nervous. She's it's trying not to name drop. No, no, That's no, no, what no, she's no, trying no. not to do. No, I'm, I'm trying not to. Cause your 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 subscribers are interested in that the the old dried I'm up. I'm trying not to shut out my plan. future husband. Okay, my future husband <laughs> may not be blessed in that area, but which is fine. But um, I'm just trying to see how it could be a compromise because for me, I know sex is important. Okay. How Very important? important. Very important. It's probably in the, the top. It's definitely in the top five. Um, it could be in the top three for sure. Okay, let's ask a question to a question. Okay. What if deal breaker, relationship deal breaker? What if you have a guy who is bomb, like everything you ever wanted, as oh. far as uh, in the bedroom goes? Right. But he's just a dog. Like he dogs you out. He just put his hands on you. He's just worst of the worst, but he has a good eggplant. Okay, well, we're gonna take out um, domestic violence. because. Okay, we'll take that out, we'll take that out. But he don't have a job, mm -hmm. he's always begging, he's a liar, like, uh, but that's what I'm he gives you great eggplant. Okay, so, um, Honestly, it's not worth it for me because my thing is, I know me. You push me to that limit, and um, you ain't got a robot or a plan because you won't have one. But anyways, that's besides the point. I wish that's just a joke, guys. That's just. That's a joke. It's not no joke. It is because I'm a. Princess. Sane people don't joke like that. I'm just saying. <laughs> Anyways, the point that I'm making is that no, that won't be worth it because for me, I have to be emotionally stimulated. Like you will not make me explode like a volcano if I'm not emotionally stimulated. But if can that, I make that clear? If that old dried up eggplant is giving you emotional stimulation, is he still kicked to the curb or can he? Well, does he have you, a shot? He would definitely need to know how to work it. That's for sure. <laughs> like he would have to need to know how to work that thing. Oh, um, or you know, maybe he's good with other parts of himself that could, and then be willing to. My thing is, guys have this whole ego and pride thing. Like you need to be comfortable with adding accessories to the relationship to spice things up, especially if you are limited in that area. Like. Um, yeah, I mean, how would you feel if, if, if I'd be like, babe, mm -hmm. you think maybe um, we can add, you know, like a dildo? Only if we can add another girl. Ma See, that's, 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 that'll get you, that'll get you cut. Okay, Three, just kidding. But, <laughs> listen, first of all, guys, listen, I told you we had a glass Right, Jesus. She did, so, bro. I'm good. I am. You had about three glasses. Okay, anyways, besides the point. Back on topic, okay. There could be a compromise for certain people, and I'm pretty sure if you put your pride and ego aside, we could figure it out. Right. We could definitely figure it out. Because I will say this from experience sake, I've had great, I'm talking about great women great they nurtured me the best way they could they were comforting they were everything you would want in a woman mm -hmm. but the sex was just so boring but i will tell you in a heartbeat i will go back mm -hmm. get out of my ego and mm -hmm. work on this with that woman right because the great sex comes with great disappointment <laughs> i'm telling you <laughs> you will be disappointed, not necessarily in sex. And that's sex. funny to hear a guy say that, because for a female, listen, if a guy got his, if a guy got his shit together, and he got good sex, listen, you best believe that guy gonna have his his freaking ego way up here when he really needs to have it in check. Like, 
You need to be lacking something for me. No, 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 no. No. What? I'm gonna take that back out of out of the atmosphere. Yeah, that I'm didn't make sense. Back. No, I'm gonna take it sense. back. Don't be lacking nothing. Okay, work on yourself. Constantly work on yourself. You can always improve every single area. I promise you. But for me, I'm serious. There are technology is a um, a blessing. But the point I was making is that um, guys with dope eggplants and dope finances, dope uh, mindsets, um, dope careers. I mean, if you ain't trying to marry me within the first, or at least, at least engage or give me a promise ring after you've been getting consistent. Okay, okay, let me know um, something. Peaches for six months, six months. Wait, wait, wait. After six months, if you are not trying to commit, you know, even take a baby step, at least one step. If you're not trying to take one step after six months with me, deal breaker. You gonna throw a whole man away because he don't marry you in six months? We don't have to get married, but we can take one step towards towards marriage. Like I'm not gonna keep a relationship I'm gonna is keep a giving step my body towards to marriage. A relationship, a stable, committed relationship. First of all, I'm not gonna keep giving myself to you if you are not gonna commit. First of all, you shouldn't even be, ladies, don't open it up. Don't open it up. Okay. If they're not even mentally prepared, financially prepared financially prepared to spend the rest of their life with you. I'm just saying. So ladies, if you have an itch, if you just want to have fun, <laughs> listen to Jackie and just keep your legs all the way closed because <laughs> a man has to be a millionaire with a 12 inch piece no, no, in order doesn't. to get with you. No, I didn't Good say luck. <laughs> Good luck. I didn't say millionaire, I say <laughs> That you peach know. is gonna get dry. That peach is gonna turn to a raisin. First of all, not everyone wants to be millionaires. I'm just saying, just be prepared to have, be ready to have a family. Like, because financial stress can cause a bigger stress issue on relationships. We're just talking about intercourse. All right. <laughs> like, whoa. See, all right. that's the thing. Let me say this, and we're gonna wrap this up. Yes, we are. Like I said in the previous video. Men have sex with who they can. Women have sex with who they want. Who they want. So, with that being said, men, be mindful of the ladies you pursue. Because like my friend here, Jackie, you have to come with. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hold on now. Let me, That's let a me lie. Like, did you hear her? You gotta have dope dick. You gotta <laughs> have finances. You gotta be willing to marry her in six months. That's a lot, bro, for a nut, yeah. bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's a lot. Like, I just wanna, like, <laughs> hang out and have fun for a night. No. No. Like, uh, we grown ups. Like, come on, like, ladies have one night stands too. And that's just a lot. That's. I've that's never a had a one night stand. You, you haven't lived there. You, I don't know. I don't know. Ladies, I'm not encouraging it. But have fun. Listen, your box is your box, but I will say this. If you come around Champion Black Way, I will make sure to treat you like a lady, treat you with respect, and fuck the shit out of you. <laughs> so, All right, she's, anyway. gonna, she's gonna give you my Instagram handle at the bottom. Make sure you subscribe. I will not. I will <laughs> not, because I am not promoting sin. Oh okay? my God. I'm just kidding. Listen, first of all, we're gonna close this video out, guys. You know what I need for you to do. Comment down below. I want to know, is it a deal breaker or a compromise if you and your partner, your significant other, because your significant other could literally just be someone you're hanging out with, like he said. If you and your significant other are not intimately sexually compatible, is it a deal breaker or a compromise? If it's a compromise, I want to know how. All right, guys, I love you so much. If you're not having a good day, find a way to get around it. Love you and I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye guys.